Hello again, I'm here in uh, DC with my daughter and her roommate and we're gonna be having some wine together. So we figured we'd share our impressions with everyone. This is all gonna be spontaneous. So you're gonna have to forgive <laughs> us in advance. This is a Léoville Barton 2001. Léoville Barton has become one of my favorite uh, Bordeaux. Uh, it just so happened that I had some 1990s that I'm still drinking that I really enjoyed. I met these guys at a wine tasting and they were so nice. I mean, this is the Irish uh, family, you know, the Bar Barton who own this uh, chateau and they're very friendly, they're very engaging and, and it's just kind of one of those things that makes you wanna uh, get to know them better. And the wine's consistently very, very good. So I bought a lot of these 2001 at auction and uh, it's a Saint-Julien, so it's primarily Cabernet Sauvignon as, as uh, many people know. Uh, it's probably close to 60% Cabernet Sauvignon. 2001 was not necessarily one of the best years in Bordeaux, but it was a pretty good year. And, and as we've discussed before, it's a good idea to, in some of the off years, to buy some of the best chateaus because you will get a, a good deal and you'll be able to drink it a little bit sooner. So that uh, at the same time, I mean, last year I had my last 1990 and now we're having a 2001 and it's hopefully gonna be uh, ready to drink. So on the color, you know, it's very, very, very dark, which you would expect for this Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got a slight orange ring. You see that, you know, around the, and that's what happens when things, you know, when the wine gets a little bit older and, uh, and then, uh, uh, but it's still very full of vigor, you know, in the color. It's not like this orange, brown, tired color. I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the color? I feel like the de the deep red goes very close to the edge of the glass. Yeah. It stays deep yeah. even when it gets the color stays deep even when it gets shallow. Um, yeah. It's got like a round plumness to it. And I'm not sure how filtered it is. You can see the deposit on the shoulder of the one. Maybe you can't. So maybe it wasn't. It's not very filtered. So you yeah. see that. I noticed the orange one too. It looks like a moody sunset or someone's lipstick that's kind of getting wiped off. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well maybe they put lipstick in the wine. Yes, yeah. like, who knows? That's kind of the secret uh, attraction that we get. Uh, okay, on the nose, it's really typical Cabernet. I mean, I think when we first opened the wine, it was a little bit, had a little bit of that mustiness, uh, but the cork was perfect, so there's been no seepage. And the, the, the mustiness is what you would expect because that means actually the wine was pretty well sealed for a long period of time. And then it opened up very quickly and I think it's going to continue to open up yeah, it during, the, during the evening. It doesn't you, smell musty at all. I don't know but what do, you, what do you guys get on the nose? It smells quite sharp actually. Like it so, smells like a single, it almost sounds, yeah. like, it smells like a solo... Single note? Trumpet. Yeah, yeah like playing. Yeah. Yeah, it's but like which sharp, is, but not too sharp. Yeah, and I think that's because it's not super alcoholic. It's yeah. only 12 and a half percent alcohol. So the, the sharpness comes from a little bit of that alcohol with the, with the Cabernet, which is really yeah. dominant here. But what else? Do you, do you smell fruit? Do you smell earth? Do you smell um, flowers? You know, these are basically the three categories, if you want to think, think about I think more fruit. Especially when we first smelled it, I felt maybe a little bit of a berry fruity yeah. smell i don't know if it's the 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 color that's making me think of a little bit of oranges or something so you feel that's you sweet. get a little bit of orange on the nose i think that the what you're gonna feel that the fruit is also something you're gonna get more of during the youth of a wine because it sort of evolves after a while it becomes more what they call the tertiary notes which has like the earth and the roots you know so but uh, the, right now, what you're getting the fr is the fruit, which really means that the wine is still very, very young. Mm -hmm. Let's taste it. Oh. It's, what do you guys... Yeah. It's less full body than I anticipated. Yeah. It's, on the it's front, it's a thinner. little bit thin. Yeah. But on the, at the end... How's the finish? And then you can feel it at the back of your throat. Yeah, the finish is a little bit stronger than the attack, which mm -hmm. is kind of interesting. The attack is a little watery. Yeah, it's thing, a bit more savory than it's I It's savory, thought. so you don't you lose the fruit. Yeah. You have a little bit of that saltiness. There's almost yeah, a little bit of salinity, yeah. which is kind of yeah. interesting in a, in a Bordeaux. Definitely not sweet. Not sweet, more sa saline. Yeah. And you lose a little bit of that fruit, 
it's a little bit thin and if you try to keep it in your mouth a little longer No, it hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. It's still, no. it does have a little bit of that bitter aftertaste, mm -hmm. which I, I think in the mouth it feels a little bit disjointed. Still, you have the, the salinity, you have the, you the thinness a little bit. You have the the bitterness, and at some point again, this is a wine that needs a little bit of time. So at some point, I think during dinner, it will it will open up some more and be more harmonious, and that's mm. that's the hope. But the finish is very nice and it's got that bitterness a little bit that you get in a in a bordeaux it's got a bordeaux you know all, uh, sort of fine bordeaux tend to be a little bit more of a has a little bit more of that bitter restraint if yeah. you want sometimes it make you think of dark chocolate or something like that, that kind of oh yeah i could see that dark chocolate not, the bitterness not unpleasant bitterness but something that's mm. more akin of it and that comes from the tannins We'll see. I think in my notes on the video, I'll add if we felt something different uh, towards uh, towards the end of the bottle because we're certainly going to try to do a job on this while the ladies are cooking a really uh, nice dinner. We'll tell you more about this. Cheers, and Cheers. we'll see you soon. Cheers. Okay.